Good morning. May the words of my mouth uh, and the meditations of my heart uh, be a blessing to you, O God, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. This last Sunday was Mother's Day, and on Mother's Day, I like to focus on the different images that we have throughout the Bible uh, of God's maternal instincts, uh, some maternal motherly images that we have of God. Uh, on Sundays, we've been looking at the book of 1 Peter, and there's at least two maternal images, mothering images of God that we have there. Uh, the book speaks quite often about us being reborn and being, and being given a, a new birth. And birthing, giving birth, is strictly a mothering, maternal uh, image that we have. Uh, fathers never give birth. Uh, we congratulate fathers on having a child, uh, but it is only mothers that give birth. The other mothering image that we have uh, is that of spiritual milk. Uh, Second Peter, First Peter 2, verse 2, says that you and I should cry out for spiritual milk in the way that newborn infants do. Now, nowadays, we have no problem giving a newborn child formula. Uh, a child will start to cry. Uh, and a father can easily get up and go to the fridge and, and, and get the, uh, the bottle of formula and give it to the child. But in the first century, in fact, for most of the last 2,000 years since this letter was first written, there is no way that anybody reading it would have understood the passage as going to get formula for the newborn. And when a newborn cries out for milk, only a mother can feed the child. The child is crying out to be fed, and only the mother can give the child what it needs. You and I are supposed to cry out uh, like little babies uh, for spiritual milk. Uh, we are supposed to cry out with this incredible hunger, this great thirst, desiring to be fed. And only Jesus Christ can, can feed us. It is Jesus Christ who is the living and enduring word of God. It is the Jesus Christ who is the good news that was announced to us. It is Jesus Christ who is the word that became flesh and walked among us, a human being that lived here with us. You and I do not hunger for an idea or a concept or a notion. You and I hunger for a person. It is we, it is not the idea of forgiveness that frees us. It is the fact that Jesus Christ, a human being, took the sins of the world upon himself and forgave us uh, that we hunger for. It is Jesus Christ who embodies what forgiveness is and models what new life is for you and me. It is Jesus Christ who shows us what a resurrected life looks like. And that is what we hunger for. Now, a last thought. Little babies, in fact, you and I, don't just eat one time and then are done. Little babies eat and then they're, they're satisfied. And then a few hours later, they're hungry again. Same way goes with the, with, with the whole notion of relationship. You don't just talk with a person once and then have a relationship with them. In order to keep on growing, uh, you and I need to keep on eating. In order for our relationships to thrive, we need to keep on relating. So we don't just drink our spiritual milk once. We don't just talk to Jesus Christ once. We hang out with Jesus Christ. We spend time with him every single day, strengthening our relationship, strengthening our focus, and allowing him to remind us of who we are, whose we are, and what our purpose in him is. Grace and peace to you today. We're going to go now to our prayer. Uh, and as we do, uh, I will say at different times, Lord, in your mercy, and then you respond with hear our prayer. Uh, there'll be times of silence for you to pray, and we will close with uh, the Lord's prayer. Let's pray together. God, you have blessed us and given us many good things. Most importantly, you have given us the spiritual milk that we desire. You feed us. You nurture us. Uh, like a mother that loves her children so much uh, and will do anything for them. You feed us and nurture us and give us what we need to have a, a meaningful, purposeful life. And so we're thankful to you for that. 
We thank you for feeding us with Jesus Christ and that we have a relationship with him. And we thank you for so many other things, the sunshine today, uh, the privilege that we have uh, to be safe and warm and taken care of, uh, the relationships that we have. We take time now to thank you for the good things in our life. Lord, in your mercy, and we pray for all the concerns we have, for the frontline workers, for the nurses, the doctors we know, the, the medics, uh, the, fire, the firemen, the fire people, uh, those working in grocery stores. Uh, we think of others who are sick and unwell. We think of parts of the world that are simply not as prepared as we are to deal with this pandemic. And we think of so many others uh, who have crises, health concerns, issues beyond COVID-19. We bring them to you now. Lord, in your mercy, and we pray together, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. God bless you. Have a great day uh, and feed on Jesus Christ today. Amen.